Hello everybody, welcome back. We are back in St. Plinkiesburg. Um, we are going to... Uh, I left you off yesterday and we were really close to Town Hall and I said we were going to get to that point yesterday, so we are definitely going to be able to get to that point today. There's people at Town Hall protest... or er, Yeah, people at Town Hall protesting low land values. Let's check out our low... or er, Yeah, our low land value map. Our land value map and see what's going on. Um... Now, there shouldn't really be any real low land value areas besides over here, and there's no one living over here, so um, I don't know why they're protesting that. We'll just have to uh, deal with it as the um, as we go along. We'll try to beef up land value in the area. Uh, I said last time we were going to get a police station. I don't think we have enough yet for a police station. Let's check it out. No, we're almost there, but not quite. Within the next couple hours, we should have it. Well, let's boost it up to cheetah speed, so we're not sitting around waiting forever for things to happen. These guys, what do these guys want? We're gonna throw a block party all night. We may toss out a bit of garb, a bit more garbage during the party, but that, but you don't mind, do you? We'll get 25,000 simoleons for completing this, and I believe we have the trash capacity to do it, so let's do it and see what happens. Uh, we have 23 hours to collect 250 cans of garbage. How many cans of garbage are we collecting a day? Um, let's see, garbage, waste disposal map. Will this tell us? No, it doesn't. So we'll have to wait and see on that, if we can do it. Uh, these guys probably want Dr. Boo again. Yes, no thank you again. And these guys probably want Maxis Man. Oh. So they're asking for a police station, we'll do that. We're not going to get anything for doing it, but... Since we're going to build a police station right now anyway... It's not that big of a deal. Um, we're gonna put the police, the police station over with the other, um, the others. We'll have it across the street from the uh, the sewage drainage pipe, because that seems like a suiting place for a jail. And we'll uh, we'll wait for adding more cars. I don't believe we'll need more police vehicles at the moment. Um, the happiness is going down. I, I just do not understand why. Um, there's something I forgot to do last time, and... Hold on, it's in education. We forgot to place our school bus stops. So all the kiddies can get to school. So we're going to do that. Increase the happiness around the area. Because now they can go to school. And that coverage looks pretty good to me. Um, probably pop one here too. And one here. So, now we have our all of our bus stops. Our, solo, our single bus is going to be collecting all the students. Let's see if we can get another bus for the school. Oh, wow. Um, we must have passed the... Yes, we did. We passed the mission, so we got a nice little boost in simoleons. I was... <laughs> That's wonderful. Okay, so, there's another thing I forgot to do, and I am just now noticing it. We forgot to place residential along here. Now, I've been thinking about what to do with this wasted space, and I came up with one option. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build an avenue straight down here, and then we'll have the road down here for the, all the high wealth collecting, or we'll have the road for all the high wealth down there. Now, what is the school saying? The school's classrooms are full, so we'll add another wing to the classroom, or another wing to the school. That should be fine. Uh, we'll add two wings. 
so we can get a total of 582 students. The thing about SimCity is, um, as long as there's a school, the people will always go to it. They don't really have ages for the Sims, so a 30-year-old man would be going to elementary school. Which is, um, I find kind of funny, but, uh, there's, I guess they don't, it's too much to try to add ages for each sim. So now we're going to add some more, uh, ambulances, and we're going to put the sign on the hospital. I, it's something I normally do, and I just completely forgot to do. Alright, now we're out of simoleons. So we're going to have to wait for the, uh, the simoleons to come back in. The sickness seems to be a pretty big issue. Our, our deaths per day went down from 6 to 2, which is wonderful. Um, and our police just arrested a criminal. So that means we're starting to have some crime in the city. Let's check out our crime map real quick. We have actually quite a few criminals in the city, so... Hopefully our police force will be, be able to take care of these people for now. Um, this is where the person just got arrested. Where did they get arrested at? Uh, looks like they got arrested at... Um, I can't pass gas. <laughs> so, apparently SimCity like, wanted to add a fart joke into the game. Uh, hey! So now we just need... Ah! We got a thousand simoleons. That's good. And how close are we to... Oh, we got our upgrade for Town Hall. So we're going to upgrade Town Hall to City Hall. I do not believe we get... Oh, we do get to add something to City Hall. So what I said we were going to do first is we're going to add a Department of utilities first, and then next upgrade we'll get Department of Tourism, because this is going to be a tourism city, and we'll need the Department of Tourism to help that along. We are getting a lot of medium wealth commercial demand, so I'm going to put... My mouse is acting up, sorry. What the heck? Alright. So I'm going to add a lot of commercial along here. A lot of it's going to be torn down when I... Hello? Okay. Whatever. Um, a lot of it's going to be torn down when I put the avenue through here, but uh, for now we should be... We are having serious demands for medium wealth commercial, so I'm going to check the wealth map. Land value map. These will not be medium wealth, so we're going to have to add a park down here. And let's put a wavy tree park. That's not going to help. So we'll put one here, and then we'll edit that park to expand the, the influence area around it. So we have a wavy tree park, or a tall tree row here. And then we'll probably put a tree-lined parkway, or walkway. That increased it a little bit, and then on here we'll add that, and we'll put some nice little uh, reflect. We'll do the same thing on the other side, where colorful path park, and then reflect. Uh, so that should help the medium wealth commercial go down a little bit. And it also bumps these guys up to medium wealth, so they're going to start growing into medium wealth. We don't have, we have a little bit of high wealth demand, but not that much currently. And the medium wealth commercial is going down, which is good. The industrial demand is steadily increasing, so we might have to start our next city pretty shortly to get the industrial demand down, um, because the Sims will commute from St. Blank Eastburg to whatever we name this city over here. Um, this is going to pretty much be oil and coal mining. This is, It's going to be nasty over there, but it should be okay, because we're going to have 
Well, we'll have to figure out a way to get the pollution to not travel over to St. Plinkysburg and get everyone sick. Our hospital is saying there's a lot of health issues. Not so many health issues. Um, a lot of sickness. Um, we're treating 13 of 19 sick people per day, which is pretty good. Um, I did add... Ooh, I did add more ambulances to the hospital. Oh, okay, we're turning away patients, which is not good. So we're going to add another wing to the clinic. And that should help. Um, I don't know how much that increases the capacity. It increased it by 15, which is wonderful. So now all the uh, all the six sims should be treated as the city continues to grow. And we're... This is still flashing red because of the industrial demand, so we're gonna just ignore that for now. And we're gonna... Should we add the avenue? Or... Let's look at the density map, see how close people are to increasing in density. These guys are rapidly increasing. Um, these guys look like they're ready, so we're gonna start upgrading these roads around here so they increase in density and add to our population. So let's get our road tool out. Upgrade roads, and we'll just start upgrading all these roads to medium density. Which is going to take, give us a pretty big hit in the in the wallet, but it'll be worth it, because higher density means more population, more population equals more taxes, more taxes is more money. And the more money we get rolling in, the bigger the city gets, the faster. Oh, I missed a few. So we'll upgrade this one, and we'll upgrade this one, and then I believe this is going to be expensive, but we'll do that, and then... Okay, that's all we're going to do for now. Because I believe that road's the closest to increasing in density. Yes, it is. All right, so... These guys should increase in density when they're ready. Some are already doing so. Like these guys. Um, let's see. The police force is saying crime in progress. Okay. Uh, let's see how the jail is doing. We have 5 out of 10 jail cells full already. So, this, okay. A jail costs 15,000 simoleons. We're going to pass on that for now because we do not have enough to do it. Um... Uh, Let's look at our crime map, see how many crimes are being... Actually, our our police is doing a fairly good... or police force is doing a fairly good job of keeping the... the... crimes down in the city. We have four arrests per day, one crime committed per day. So, the police are doing their jobs, which is wonderful. Um, take a look at our power... No... Here we go. Okay, we're starting to get into a little power deficit here. So, I'm going to add another small turbine that should bump it up. Maybe... Yeah, that's not helping much. So we're going to have to add another We're gonna have to add another turbine. Maybe we'll add a big Bertha here. This, uh, this should... Oh, we don't have enough of that. Um, so we'll just add another small one for now. Maybe two. Nope. Just one. Alright, so that should help the power problems we're having. Uh... Our high wealth is getting pretty high demand. Or quite a little bit more demand and we have another abandoned building because of a fire and this was abandoned because of because of a fire these were abandoned because of fires okay so let me I'm going to explain how um, the fires work in this or how they're supposed to work the more educated your sims are the less likely they are to start fires in the city right now they're not very educated so we're gonna we're gonna have a lot of building fires because if we look at the education map, 
we're not we don't really have um, a lot of coverage in the city for education they have two kids but they're not students so the more they have not enrolled in school the more chance there is for fire and the more chance there is for fire the more abandoned buildings we're gonna have the more abandoned buildings we have the more homeless we get and the homeless tend to gravitate towards parks let's see if we can have is there a that's a tech map industrial map commercial map uh I don't really s let's okay here it'll tell us that there's no homeless people in this park uh, homeless people tend to gravitate towards parks and abandoned buildings um, because that's where they can squat and do whatever it is homeless people do um, this guy wants... We're not really keeping up with crime in the city. Maybe you could add another patrol lot. Um, not now, police chief. We're kind of busy. Actually... How much does it cost? 10,000? We have 21. Well, let's do it. That'll help keep up with the crimes. And it'll keep our crime rate down and increase the happiness of the, the city. So, is this medium? Uh, it should be. Yes, it is. Alright, so we'll increase this to medium density, and then we'll increase this to medium density, and now we are broke again. Alright, so now that we have a whole bunch of medium density, we should our city should start looking like this, but well, we'll have nice buildings looking like this down this end because of the medium wealth and wow, there's a lot of kids playing basketball. Apparently, they really love basketball in St. Blickiesburg. We're getting a pretty nice income here, so that's always good. Um, the... I believe we're getting close to our next upgrade for City Hall. Yes, we are. Um, our next upgrade comes at, what, 7, 15,000 residents? This thing, the city is growing pretty quickly, which is nice. And here we go with our first upgrades on this end of the on this end of the city, um, which are actually low wealth. They shouldn't be low wealth. So let's take a look at the land value map. To see why? Oh, they are low wealth. Okay. So I'm going to build a park down here because we want this area to be medium wealth. That should. Nope, that didn't do it. This should help increase the land value of the area. There we go. Now these are all going to be medium wealth, so they'll... They should... Wow, it's going to be a big, big building. <laughs> well, yeah, these are tearing themselves down and becoming medium wealth now. Yeah, so here we have a vacant residence. We're going to take a hit in population as these build, but once they're built, they should increase to medium wealth, or they should increase the population back up, and we'll start getting more uh, more sims in the city. Our education is saying classrooms are full again, so we're going to start... We need a Department of Education to get a high school and a community college, or, oh no, we don't even need Department of Education for a community college, so we'll just add more to the the elementary school to try to get to a community college, which will increase the smartness? <laughs> I was about to say smartness. <laughs> increase the uh, education of 
the students in the area. And now that this the elementary school is maxed out, it, sh it can hold 950 students, which is enough to get to the community college. And when we get to community college, we should be able to... No, we'll need a Department of Education in the region. So, we may build that in the new city, we may build it in this city, we'll see what happens and how fast this city grows. If this city grows faster than it is now, we're gonna... <clears throat> no, actually, because the next upgrade after uh, utilities is gonna be tourism, so it's gonna be a long time before we get a Department of Education, so we'll probably do education in the other city. We'll put the town out, out front of the town hall because I forgot to do that as well. And I just added one to um, the elementary school because I'd forgotten to do that. Oh no, I didn't even do it. So, everyone gets a sign. School gets a flag as well. Hopefully soon they'll let us build the mayor's mansion. Mayor's house. Yes, mayor's house. Um, we are almost at that point because once we get to the population of 10,000, they'll let us build this, and it'll be able to increase the land value and happiness of a, an area of the city. Uh, let's upgrade this road real quick, because it's an eyesore. And then, I think we're gonna... Yeah, let's build further down. My mouse is starting to get on my nerves. Alright, so we'll build this down here. And we'll... We'll probably... Yes, we're at a water deficit, so we're gonna have to build another water pumping station. We'll probably have one here because look at that. 1,500 kilogallons of water. And it'll never go away because it's close to the river, so... Um, I don't think we want to have it next to Town Hall. We'll probably have it closer to the dump. There we go. So that should, yeah, that fixed our water deficit. Our ground pollution map is not looking very good because this is a, like I said, this is a huge, um, ground polluter. We're going to need to get rid of that as soon as we can, which is why we're going for a Department of, uh, Utilities first so we can get, um, so we can get this sewage treatment plant. Speaking of which... Our sewage is all right. Um, hopefully, we'll get to fifteen thousand uh, Sims before we need to upgrade that or build another one. We just unlocked the mayor's house, which I said earlier will increase the land value of a specific area and the happiness. So I think I'm going to build it right here. And as I said, the entire city, yes, the entire city gets a boost in happiness because now the mayor is living in the city and he is hiring for his house. So I am now living in St. Blinkiesburg. I believe there was a option to... Okay, so there is an option to build a helipad. For the, the, um, for the city hall, which requires an airport or a, a municipal airport in the in the region in the region or yeah in the region. So we may build an airport in this city. We'll see because airports are very good for um, airports are very good for tourism. You can have tourism, uh, or you can have a uh, passenger terminal on the airport to bring in Sims to the city that normally wouldn't be here. So that'll really help. Like I said, it has tourism. Um, currently, we do not have any tourism in the city, which is something we can start thinking about. Start thinking about soon. Uh, gambling is a big no-no. Gambling will... <sighs> Pretty much what gambling does is it increases crime in the city, and it has 
Um, it houses a lot of crime, so we're not going to do gambling until maybe never, but we will be able, once we get our police force um, beefed up a bit, we're going to uh, maybe add a casino. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Should I add a casino or not? Um, so we're going to add an addition to the jail, or the police station, because we need to beef up the prisoners. As you can see, we have eight prisoners at the moment, which is near the max of ten. So we're going to add this here, and hopefully that'll prevent any issues from releasing prisoners back out onto the streets and having crime run rampant through the city. Because having crime in the city is not good for, for tourism, really. Um, like I said, this is going to be a tourism city, so if would you visit a city that has a ton of crime? I don't think I would. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start building the high, the high wealth area. And now, hopefully... Oh, man! <sighs> this mouse is <laughs> driving me absolutely insane, and we just wasted a lot of money. Oh, come on! Hello, mouse. Stop being a jerk. Okay, thank you. Alright, so we just wasted a lot of money doing that. Um, we'll try it again here. So medium wealth, or medium density, and I don't want that big of a curve, so we're gonna stop it. This is driving me nuts. Why is it so hard to make a gentle curve? I don't want that big of a... Let's see if we can... That's more of a straight, I don't, or maybe that'll work. Now, I want, I want a, a little bit of a curve, not anything too, now it just wants to go straight. I, I hate roads in this, or I hate making roads. Right. It seems like either we get a straight line or an absolutely Huge curve. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're just going to build a straight line. And then we'll have high wealth along this this road here. So let's plop some residential zones along here. And then we'll put some commercial down here for the high wealth. And then... to Okay. Like I said, we're going to start having sewage problems, and we just started, and we didn't get to 15,000 sims, which is not good, but hopefully that can be rectified fairly shortly with all the new residential we just built. So we're going to put some four more, or we're going to put a plaza in, and we're going to put a medium sculpture garden right here. And then we'll add on to this to make this area very high wealth. So we'll put a large sculpture garden behind it, and then some... Uh, whatever these are. Urban green spaces. Like that. That gets a little bit of influence, and then we'll just probably add some more uh, down here like this, and we've got our first mansions in the city going up, which is wonderful. So we're gonna 
add on to this one as well to make this area no we'll just add straight back on this one there we go so all of this area is now high wealth and then we'll probably add one more park down here to make the the commerce down here high wealth parks do end up costing a lot per hour but it's pretty much worth it because what parks do for your city is they create high wealth sims and high wealth sims bring in more money and more monies like I always say amazing and they're just saying St. Plinkiesburg has now got some high wealth um, shops in the city these, I believe, are going to be low wealth, or no, maybe, well, these are low wealth, these are medium wealth, so we're going to have to maybe put, think about putting a park where these low wealth are, because we don't want these guys in the city, or in this area, so we're going to, no, add some more parks on here, parks everywhere, guys, parks everywhere, alright, so that pretty much covers everyone, maybe we can add another one, here. No, that didn't quite make it, so maybe one more. There. There we go. Now, everyone in the area is high wealth. And that shouldn't prevent these guys from increasing in density as well, which is always good. So, now that we have 11,378, our sewage problems, we do not have any. Um, which is... Oh, that's water. Sewage. Yes, our sewage is starting to get backed up quite a bit. Um, we're going to have to put some nature... Some nature... If I can... Oh, here we go. So we're going to have to plant some trees around here to start soaking up this pollution because pollution is bad. That gets them sick. And for some reason trees won't grow here. That's fine. So, now that we're starting to suck up the pollution from here, we should... The fire department is saying fire service is slow. So we'll see what we can do about that. If we can add a little bell to the fire department and a flag, and of course, we can't put the sign down. Hello? No sign. They sign for the police department. They don't deserve a sign for a fire department. So we're gonna have to wait till we build another garage for the fire department. Um, let's see what our education is doing. Our education, we're getting close to the community college. We'll probably have the community college um, probably somewhere in here. Is this a park? No, it's a pizzeria. So we'll probably have the community college somewhere in here so that the students can go to college and get their education. And now that we have our city hall and we're getting close to our next upgrade, I think this is where I'm going to leave you guys. Um, once again, thanks for watching, and I appreciate comments, likes, um, criticism, concerns, and we have uh, another abandoned building due to fire. So I'll have to get rid of that before we go. Alright, thanks for watching, guys, and like always, have a wonderful day. Goodbye!